A 17-year-old Bowser High School student will remain locked up after police say he was caught with a loaded gun in school. The teen faced a judge today. The juvenile prosecutor says she's seen dozens of gun cases each week. 13 ABC's Alexis Means live with his story, all new at 6. Alexis. Well, the prosecutor says that these cases range from kids having guns to showing guns on social media to shooting, even killing someone. And she says that many of these teens are being tried as adults. Guns are not the answer. The juvenile prosecutor says more and more teens are being locked up on gun charges. The most recent case, a student at Bowser High School charged with having a gun in school. A school resource officer saw the 17-year-old and another student in the back hallway of the gym. The officer noticed the kid reaching in his waistband. He searched him and allegedly found a gun. A lot of what we hear is that they feel safer carrying a gun. But what we have found is that when you carry a gun, you're more likely to be targeted because now you're frightening somebody else. In June, a 17-year-old was shot to death in an alley. Police charged two teens who will be tried as adults. Specific murder where the young man who, who was shot died with a gun literally in his hand, and that still didn't save him. Police say parents play a key role in helping to stop the violence. Be in contact with their kids, know what they're doing, know who they're hanging out with, know what's in their rooms, and just be involved in their life. Detectives and prosecutors are sending a strong message to teens and their parents. In the last maybe six months, we have sent over to adult court maybe up to a dozen cases already, and we have several that are currently on um, dockets waiting to be sent. We are trying to say that we are taking this seriously. Ohio law allows us to send a child as young as 14 who uses a weapon in, in those ways, who shoots someone, we can send them to be tried as adults. Now, as for that Bowser student, he is locked up here at the Lucas County Juvenile Detention Center. A TPS spokesperson says the student with that weapon now faces severe disciplinary action. Reporting live, Alexis Means, 13 ABC Action News.